This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. New studies show that by the time people reach their middle ages, the body often produces less than half the collagen it did in youth. Collagen is the main building block in our skin, making up 70 to 80% of it. This is why we get sagging skin and wrinkles as we age. If you want to look younger, you must supplement collagen. That's exactly why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. Ageless multi-collagen is a powerhouse of the right ingredients to improve Improve your youthful appearance quickly and effectively. Get my favorite multi-collagen for 51% off today by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the link in the description or pinned comment. Welcome back everyone, I'm Drone Tech, and today we're going to take a look at what has become mainstream, socially acceptable racism from an extremist propagandist who's masquerading as some kind of scholarly journalist. So over the weekend, Don Lemon went on to publicly funded radio to make a case that white people should just simply accept a broad racist generalization because not doing so means that you have a fragile ego. Strap yourselves in for this one, folks. Don Lemon spends his weeknights on CNN covering and framing the public's understanding of everything from Donald Trump's presidency to the ongoing racial reckoning. Okay, wait a minute here. What exactly is a racial reckoning? I keep hearing that phrase thrown around like everybody just knows what it means. It sounds pretty damn nefarious to me. And just like everything else, they act like there's no debate and what they say is just how it is. 2020 culminated with George Floyd being killed in the middle of a street for everyone to see as we were sitting at home and quarantined in the middle of a pandemic. Oh, here we go with the lies. First of all, Very Fine People, as we all know, was a quote that was taken out of context. Immediately after that, he says, I'm not talking about the white supremacists and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. So this is a well-debunked lie that they just continue repeating over and over again because they know doing so makes it true in the minds of millions and millions of Americans. I mean, that's the message to your black brothers and sisters, but you also have a message to your white brothers and sisters, as you just say, which is um, stop saying you aren't racist, you know, um, stop trying to defend yourself against something that you benefit from. Society is racist. You have to work hard to change it. You do. People get so upset by the idea of the possibility that someone may think that they are racist or biased or bigoted in any way. What's the most important thing? Is it, is, it, is it the racism, the bigotry, or the bias that's most important? Or is it the perception or the feeling that someone may think of you that way? Is it about your fragility, your ego, or is it about the actual thing that it, that is? Prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group. The belief that different races possess distinct characteristics, abilities, or qualities, especially so as to distinguish them as inferior or superior. Well, Don Lemon's not a racist, making him superior to you. And don't you just love that this public radio host reinforces this idea that if you're white, you're a racist and there is no defending yourself. Aren't you so glad that you're your hard-earned tax dollars go to pay for racist propaganda targeted at you. I'm positive I'm not the only one, but as a white person, I've been made to feel guilty about how I was born since I can remember. It's been drilled into all of us from a young age that assigning traits or making broad judgments about an entire group of people based on their skin color is just about the worst thing you can do in this world. History shows us over and over that collective guilt and punishment, especially based on race, never ends well. Is it about your fragility? Your ego, or is it about the actual thing that it, that is? No, it's about assigning thoughts, feelings, and traits based on literally nothing but skin color. Would Lemon be upset about broad judgments made about black Americans? I have no doubt he would. I mean, that's exactly why black people have been mistreated in the past. I've pointed this out before, but so much of this really just mirrors the Salem witch trials. Just admit you're a racist and you'll be spared as long as you join our racism hunt. Just admit you're a witch and we'll spare you as long as you join our witch hunt. You've been accused of a crime you did not commit. It's impossible to prove your innocence. If you insist that you're innocent anyway, you'll likely be found guilty and executed. But if you confess, apologize, and implicate others for good measure, you'll go free. Do you give a false confession or risk a public hanging? 
stop saying you aren't racist, you know, um, stop trying to defend yourself against something that you benefit from. Society is racist. You do. People get so upset by the idea of the possibility that someone may think that they are racist or biased or bigoted in any way. Is it about your fragility? Your ego, or is it about the actual thing that it, that is? Remember, if you're not a white traitor, then you're a witch or a white supremacist. And to that point, if you would like to support me in my mission to expose this evil, check out the links in the description or pinned comment. Or you could also support the sponsors that support channels like mine. That's all I have for this one. I'll see you all next time.